Hello everyone, it is Ivor Horse and welcome back to another episode of Boom Beach. So happy to be here, it is time for another episode of the Boom Beach base reviews. Now, the last episode has been a while and uh, today is going to be episode number 18. I want to make sure that this week there will be episode number 20. So we're going to have to do three Boom Beach base reviews this week still. So we're going to do one uh, today. And we're going to two, do two of them during the weekend. So on Saturday there's going to be one. And on Sunday is going to be one. If you guys want to be having a chance of getting your bases featured for the weekend. All you need to do is go to the comment section of this video. And uh, copy paste the template that got set up there. And then fill in the information that I'm asking for. And you're automatically entered. And I'm picking bases at random. So uh, there's no need to bag or write anything sentimental. I, I'm doing it completely random. And you guys know that. But uh, so happy to to be here today I'm, I'm gonna be taking a look at three bases i haven't seen before to challenge myself to see if i can come up with a, a proper base review that i'm usually doing during my live streams as well so let's go to the first base of today and we're looking for ian he's right here level 57 he's the same level as i am so i'm probably able to relate to uh, how he's playing at the game it's gonna be pretty interesting let's take a look here Headquarters level 20, obviously. He's having a shock launch in upgrading. Uh, it's going to max, so that's actually pretty cool. I'm a little bit surprised seeing as how, how high your level is or how high you are at the game uh, that you don't have those maxed out yet. How is your other one doing? Level 7. Try to max th this as your first defense out if you're going to be upgrading any more defenses in the near future. Uh, so this one's level 20, of course. Uh, your vault is right now level 20 as well. Uh, I expect everything to be maxed out. Uh, weapon lab level 5. Armory level... Uh, armory level 19. Wow, that is kind of surprising, honestly. Um, you know, but that's just me. That's just me. And uh, if, if I'm headquarters level 20, I want to be maxing out my offense as quickly as possible. Uh, because I feel more comfortable that way. That way I'm able to take down more bases. Definitely a key focus here. Uh, especially if you're that high of a level. Try to max out your armory first. And try to max out your units. I'm pretty sure that your units are really high level. Uh, try to keep your focus there. Then you have a Doomgat level 3. And a Shock Blast level 3. Nothing wrong there. You have I expect everything here to be maxed out. If it is not... Shoot me, because I'm going to be really surprised. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Awesome, it's maxed. And the gunboat is also 20. All right, then it's time to take a look at your defenses. So, we already took a look at the shock launchers. Uh, your boom cannons, level 12. Um, is that even the max level? What? What's the... Hold up, I'm going to look it up. Give me a sec. Okay, so I just looked it up. The maximum level of four boom cannon. I should have known this, but it's level 14. And all of your boom cannons are level 12. Don't get me wrong. They're high level. So uh, it, it's good that you're having them. Uh, don't upgrade them until you got your shock launcher upgrade. Let's take a look at your rocket launchers. 11. How did you get to level 57? Not having your armory maxed out. Uh, is, is all your, like, storages and everything maxed out? I think it is. Uh, not even your... How did you get to level 57? I'm, I'm really curious about that. Maybe your auto defenses are really high level. Let's take a look. Your, yeah, machine guns level 16. You've been upgrading everything very gradually. Which is, which is awesome to see, by the way. Uh, haven't seen anyone adapting that type of a player style before. But it's not the best way to go with if you really want to... Uh, improve your base uh, your cannons of course level 16 uh, wow that's actually really really awkward you have no none of the defenses maxed out at level 57 that is incredible uh, but i like it because that means that everything is simultaneously growing and you're right on the position where you can actually if you're going to be upgrading any every anything it's not really going to be affecting you as much as it would uh, whenever your def defenses are lower level. For for me, for instance, my, I think my machine guns are like level 13 or level 12 or something like that. And my sniper tires are like level, I don't know, 14. So that means if I were to be upgrading something else, my defense would be getting uh, weakened up quite a bit. Especially if like, uh, for, for instance, if I have a cannon right now going to level 20, uh, if, if I, yeah, you guys get the point. Uh, it's not going to be affecting you as much uh, when you upgrade stuff. So your mines... Uh, you have your uh, boom mines over your level 13 and your regular mines are level 18. Oh, that is because your armory is obviously not maxed out yet. So definitely work on that armory. That is my 
number one thing upgrade that armory and then get back to defenses because you want to be making sure that the armory and your defenses or anything in the base is always upgrading at the same time that way you're going to be pro uh, progressing into the game the fastest because at the ending if you're upgrading everything simultaneously at the ending you're going to have a moment where you need to upgrade everything to the maximum level and it's going to be so freaking expensive to do and you won't be able to always upgrade stuff at that time so it's definitely better to max out something first before you get everything up to the maximum level altogether anyway uh, about your defense i don't really have much to say about your defense this is a base layout that is very similar to one of the top bases into the game those generally work really really well uh, if i can say anything then maybe it would be the thing that your shock blaster is at the core of your headquarters maybe i would have swapped that with the doom cannon uh, but other than that i think the base looks pretty fine to me and your statues of course you have a oh you have a 98 resource ward that is 49 that is actually really good uh 16 gunboat energy uh guardian and then a okay my second tip to you is don't boost up your power stone chance it is not worth it i tried it many times and time after time it didn't work out um i think it's safe to say i tried it out more than 20 times and i had some comparisons um, it is not worth the effort because you're not going to be getting the crystal back for it. Maybe in a rare situation you are, but generally you're not. I tried it over 20 times and I think out of those 20 times, only 2 or 3 times it was actually worth it to boost that up. So, that is just my tip to you. Then you have 37... I've never seen a 37% building damage before. I think this is the maximum one over here. And then a 27% over here. 30 true troop health. Damn, your statues are awesome, bro. A 35 gunboat energy. Now, of course, this one can be level uh, can be 42%. And then the other twos are 17. So, very nice base of EMM Rotze. I totally butchered your name. I'm sorry for that. But uh, let's move on to the next base of today's episode. So, this next base is about... Uh, uh, it's it's uh, it's Charizard Gaming that we're going to be reviewing today. Uh, he actually left a comment, and his name is Pikachu, surprisingly enough. I'm too looking up the Task Force hashtag right now. Uh, 2ICV and... Oh, Charizard Gaming, he's his own Task Force. He's the leader. And the officer, I think, is his own account. So, I think I've seen you during the Twitch live streams before. Correct me if I'm wrong here, but uh, I think this is your secondary account. So, let's take a look at this one. It's level 26 with 127 victory points. So... Headquarters level 9, level 26, headquarters level 9. Um, let's see what we got here. We got the armory on level 6. You got your scope to level 3, that's actually pretty nice. Your vault, try to keep that as much as possible onto headquarters level 9. Um, you're right now in the position where you're only able to, to get iron uh, by defeating bases. And that might be pretty tough, because you want to be going to headquarters level 10... Uh, as fast as you can so um maybe we're gonna have to look a little bit more offensively but i think if i look at this offensively you're doing pretty fine so I i'm i'm kind of assuming that your headquarters are gonna be level 10 in no time at all anyway let's keep on going we have your landing crafts over here and these are actually offensively really nicely leveled up. So I gotta say, just push towards headquarters level 10. And that's where the hard part of the game starts. Headquarters 10, actually 9 already. 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13 are the hardest Boom Beach base levels, uh, headquarters levels in the game. Because at 40 you're gonna be getting the smokes and you're gonna be able to take down bases uh, rather easily. Uh, but just getting resources through these levels are just such a pain. And there's so much competition and you get taken down and taken down and taken down so much. Um, my tip to you, Charizard, Pikachu, uh, would be to place your headquarters near the shore where that quarry is over there. Make sure that uh, you have a couple of defenses at the back 
um, so that way, like, a sniper tower, like, that way, if, if, if units are gonna be walking in the bushes over here, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be as if they're gonna be taking you out the moment they arrive. They still have to deal with a couple of defenses here. So I would recommend placing a couple of mortars at the outer edges, like, at the far outer edges of the base. Have a sniper tower backing it up, maybe even a cannon or two or something like that. And then for the front of the headquarters, I would be placing, like, a couple of sniper towers here, there, around the base. You don't want to be giving away too much free gunbun energy uh, for instance this flamethrower is gonna be doing nothing because it's a flamethrower only level 2 and uh, considering that flamethrower is already powerful early on into the game uh, having one low level and standing alone here with no defensive backup at all uh, this one's pretty much going to be useless people are gonna be dropping a shock bomb on that and it's gonna be gone and then after that they might probably will be taking out these buildings as well well there are two sniper towers over here so they kind of back that up but you know the point is, you want to be making sure that your defense on the base has an offer a nice uh, defense to it. So maybe if you already want to be making an improvement, um, look at this, you look at the range of the cannon. It is only one cannon here though. The cannon over here would be would be pretty good, but maybe consider swapping that with like this flamethrower over there or something like that. That would already help you out tremendously. But you get the point, I would look up for a, a, a base build for headquarters level 9 or something like that on the web. There's actually plenty of those out there right now. And um, I hope this review helps you guys out or helps you Pikachu Charizard out. Uh, you have a 26%. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. And some idols over here. Okay, let's go to the final base of today's episode. Actually, from Johannes M, also known as Tattle0909. Hashtag is going to be 98Q8V9. Yeah. German brothers. Shout out to the Germans who are watching. I know there's plenty of you guys out there. You guys always show me amazing support. And of course, at the other country as well. Uh, we're looking for JoJo. Yo, yo. Over here, level 55 and um, 838 victory points. He's around the metal range while I am at the, into the game. So it's going to be really interesting to take a look at this base. This is definitely a different base from what I've seen before. Uh, kind of a unique type of base. It looks like the letter T. So that's pretty interesting. So, let's take a look at the essentials. The headquarters is level 20, of course. We see a weapon lab that is maxed out. We see an armory that is maxed out. We see a vault that's maxed out. The radar is maxed out too. Where's your sculptor? I kind of expect that one to be maxed out as well, but I need to... Yeah, maxed out level 8 as well. All of your landing crafts, maxed out, and gunboat is maxed out. So, that's something that we could have already expected. Let's take a look at your statues. Gunboat masterpiece... 78% translates to 39%. That is actually really great. 69 power stone chance. That's pretty sexy. 50% resource wise is actually pretty good. We have a guardian 17 and 17. 13%. Uh, 56. That is 28%. That is not too bad for a masterpiece. Another Guardian over here. Offensively, you're doing really well. Defensively, you're going to be taken down a lot. That's something that we can already um, see based off your statues. Okay, let's take a look at how you're upgrading stuff. So your shock launch over here is maxed out. And this one's maxed out as well. Great job there. Your boom cannons then. 14, 14, 14, 14. All maxed out. Uh, shock launch, uh, rocket launchers are all maxed out. And then I suppose what is up next to you are your cannons. So you're already working on that. Great job on that, Johannes. I have nothing to say about that. Now, what I really like about your base is it's not necessarily your anti-warrior base. But you do have a, a couple of things here. First of all, the base is really, really long. There's a lot of mines in the center of the base, which is basically what the base is is all about it's about the center so what i i can forgive you for having the flamethrowers at the at the front of the base now personally if you have the ability to do so uh place a shock blaster uh just behind or in front of the sawmill to make it really annoying for people to pass by uh, you see if people are going to be attacking the flamethrowers and there is a shock blaster hitting on the buildings that are going to be hitting the 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 flamethrowers then you know it's, it's a really great combination. And then you got the cannon over here as well. Uh, you have a sniper tower and boom cannon to back it up. I really, really love your frontal defense. It is really well done. And uh, also the mines over here. The boom mines for sure. And the regular mines. 
very, very nicely thought out, I gotta say. Then your centerpiece. Well, I don't really have to say much about that because it, it pretty much speaks for itself. You have a couple of boom cannons and the rocket launches are the backup of that. And then you even have a shock launch in that. So I think your front and the middle part of your base are really strong. And let's take a look at your back side of the base. Uh, that's obviously going to be a little bit weaker because uh, these flamethrowers are not there. As a matter of fact, what I would be doing in your position... Put the flamethrowers where the cannons are and swap them around because the cannons are gonna be uh, able to offensively do quite a bit. And the flamethrowers, just in case someone actually makes it to the base, it's gonna be really convenient for you to have those flamethrowers in the positions where those cannons are. So that is my tip to you when it comes down to these flamethrowers. That is really the only thing of which I know that I can give you a tip on. Um, that is gonna be valid. I would be placing this mortar a little bit more inward, so that way you can place this mortar a little bit more in, inside of the base. I kind of feel that this mortar over here and the one at the other side are a little bit useless from the way they are set up right now. So maybe you even want to be putting it at the side, like right in between these sniper towers or in between these two buildings or something like that, to give them some purpose here. Because I think... Firstly, mortars in Boomish are a little bit underrated, but also underappreciated. And I do like my mortars, but half of the time I just place them somewhere because uh, I, that way I have them on my map. But they don't really do a whole lot for me significantly. So maybe if, if they're maxed out, I will grow attached to them. But for now, I don't really have much to say about mortars. But yeah, that really pre pretty much covers everything. Let's take a look at your mine placement. Um... I'm missing a couple of mines at the side, but uh, I, I suppose I can forgive you for that. Maybe place this mine and this mine, because they're symmetrical. Place them behind like the sniper tower or something like that. Or at least a little bit at the side, so that way you have some more side defense. If that makes any sense. So yeah, I think the weak spot about this base is the fact that everything is, a si is in a single line. It makes it easier to to just pulverize the base. Usually when a base is pretty diverse and spread it out, uh, units will go all over the place. Where on this base, I feel they're going to be pretty fixated. And that's why I mentioned that this mortar might be better off at the sides or the wings of this base. So that being said, that was the base of Jojo. I hope that helps you out. We're going to be wrapping this video off here once again. Go to the comment section right now. Fill in the template I got set up for you guys there. And just fill in the information that I, I'm asking of you. And you guys will be having a, a chance of getting your base featured on Saturday and on Sunday. And with that note, we're going to be wrapping this video off here. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, make sure that if you guys like this video too, boom, give it a thumbs up. And that being said, this has been Reverse for Boom Beach. I'm going to be signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.